And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at what the heck? A cunning game of highs and lows. This is a small card game from Amigo. Uh, they tend to make these little card games that do interesting things. This one, uh, the tagline at the back says, did you really play that card? Then we cancel each other out and Eli gets the point. You're killing me. With just five rules, what the heck has been a top rated game in Europe for 30 plus years. Oh, it's a 30 year old game. Yeah, you know, it's invented by Alex Randolph, who has made some fantastic games in the past. Sounds interesting. Let's take a look. Each player is going to get a deck of player cards of their color, and these cards are numbered from 1 to 15. You're going to keep them all in your hand. You have a deck of cards here in the middle. You're going to turn over the top card. It's going to be a positive or a negative value. Everyone's going to pick a card, play it in front of them. You'll reveal all the cards that people play, and whoever played the highest number, in this case it's yellow, will win this card, worth 8 points. All the cards that are played are discarded from the game, and you turn over the next one. Now, if you turn over a card that's negative points, it's the same thing, except in this case, whoever plays the lowest card is going to get it. So here the lowest card is a 6, so the blue player would get the negative 5. If two people play cards of the same value to win it, so let's say it was a 4 here, and I'm playing a 3-player game, and I played a 1, and these two players played 13s, these cancel out, and I would get it. If everybody ties, the card will stay out there, and then the next round you'll be going for multiple cards. When the last card is gone, you'll take all the cards that you've won, add and or subtract them, and whoever has the most points is the winner. The color cards are very nice, very simple, good quality linen finish and they have just numbers on them. I, there's not a lot to say, it's just numbers with a few small tiny graphics here on them, but yeah, that's pretty much it. What the heck kind of fits in that category of a card game that is really just a single mechanism? Everyone plays a card face down, reveals them, ties cancel out, highest person wins the card. That's a nine point card, which of my cards will I use? Try to outthink everybody else. That's it. There's nothing else in this game. Here's my concerns with what the heck. It has this high-low aspect to it, but and it's just one basic mechanism, so they've taken any vestige of theme out of the game, which is fine. Well, that's a little nice, just some numbered cards. It feels like a game mechanism landing there. Now, sometimes that game mechanism is strong enough to carry the game. Uh, no thanks would be an example of that very similar style. The fact that this one has been around now for 30 years shows this is a staying power and it is fun to play with people and it's not a bad game. I don't have a problem playing it, it's just that at the end of the day it feels dated for one, it feels bland for another, and it feels like part of a bigger game. It feels that game design has come along and there's some interesting ideas here, but it needs a little bit more oomph. You know, maybe you can tell a few minutes into the game you're not going to win. Maybe it's so chaotic with a lot of players that it doesn't really matter what card you play. I'll play the 14. But hopefully you won't play the 14, so I know you're going to play the 14. So I'll play the 13, hoping that John plays the 14 to cancel out Mary's 14. So there's a lot of that, if the wine is not in the glass in front of me aspect. So it's, it's okay. It's not a bad game. It's just that the packaging itself, the name and all that, you know, this is the kind of game that I think people go, oh, this is what we're playing? Sure, but they'll never ever pick it. So, maybe they'll buy it because it's called What the Heck. And again, I'm not trying to criticize 30 year um, history here. I just think now that we have other smaller games that do the same thing, the simultaneous selection, um, like uh, Get Bit or other games like that, kind of do the same thing. They add a little bit of flavor and theme. This one just feels like the, you know, this is the OG game, the, the base thing, and there's not a lot more there. In fact, I've talked about this game almost longer than it takes to play it. That's what the heck. Dice Tower Judgment, okay, a little bland. 